Welcome back to the channel, guys. Last time, we saw a bit about Alina and Steven. It wasn't that special. He talked about scoodly pooping. And also, we're gonna see a video where Steven finally comes clean to Alina and tells her that, you know, she's not a virgin. <laughs> like, we know what's gonna happen. Like, we know Alina's gonna get pissed. We know for sure if she doesn't get pissed, that is weird. That is really, really weird. It doesn't make sense at all. But we know she's going to get pissed. It's going to be so funny. It's going to be so funny, guys. I'm pretty sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you do, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. And let's go to the video, guys. I'm regretting promising Alina that I'm going to delete my social media because now she's constantly on my back about it. And I feel that... Her asking me to delete it is coming from a place of insecurity mm -hmm. rather than a place of wanting our relationship to be in a better place. But this is also right. I do feel the same way as Steven. Like the whole way Alina is kind of obsessed about the whole thing. And apparently she asked Steven to delete his social media account, which is never a good sign. If anyone asks you to do that, just break up with that person because that person that's not love that's not love guys don't mistake it for love that's called upset obsession and the the person just wants to have you in their pockets that's what i feel like and that is true i think steven is right in this part doesn't make him a good person but yes that is i i do agree with steven here you're distracting me by saying something like oh i love you i want to be with you alina, i know I that i did wrong alina i do love you you still communicate with other girls. Okay, first of all, I have to address this. I have to. Your masks are too big. It's way too big for you. Get a smaller mask. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. That won't protect you from anything. It really won't. Just get something smaller. Uh, Did you get any messages from uh, someone from Russia? Okay. Her name is... Masha? Steven's face is a face of someone who made a mistake, who's caught in the act. He stares down right away and he's like, oh, fuck. But also, I think he's going to get pissed. He's going to get pissed because she tested him. I want to tell you something. That's a face of a guilty man, guys. Guilty man. Ah, oh, this douchebag. Such a douchebag. I don't like this guy. I put you on a test with my friend and I ask her to flirt with you. You tried setting me up? Yes. This is also you weird. Don't trust me and you had you tried to get one of your friends clear with you. So girl, she, you sent her? Yes, and you didn't tell me about her. Like of course he won't tell you about her. Of course. I'm not saying it's right. They're both in the wrong. For, like, the way I see it, there's a very bad relationship. They don't belong with each other. They don't trust each other. One guy's a douchebag. Uh, the girl is... What do you call that? Obsessed. You know? Insecure. And she wants to know everything. And that that's scary, too, guys. Those kind of people are very, very scary, too. Oh, God. Which means you we lied again. We didn't really even talk. It was like... Two messages. I three know messages. what you were talking about. Oh. I don't know. The way Alina is saying it, it sounds like Steven has said some weird shit. It really does. I think he said some weird shit. <laughs> oh my god. It's offensive that you don't trust me enough that you would try to set me up and set me up for failure. You still think it's normal that you can communicate with just random girls? She messaged me. You set that whole thing and up. And you text her back. I basically said that. Testing someone is wrong, but also replying to that person. Well, you could, I guess you could reply. I'm not sure what he said. If he just said hi, and then the girl was like, hey, want to meet up? And he says, no, I think that's fine. But from what Alina is saying, it seems like he did a lot more than that. Ah, uh, Steven, you dirty, dirty, dirty man. Well, that'd be cool if you came and visited us. So I asked her if she had a swimsuit. Okay, that's it. That's the last straw, Steven. You're an asshole. You're an asshole. Oh, you know, I tried to look at Steven in a good way. I'm not sure if you guys noticed. I tried to, 
you know, be nice. You know, I thought I was a bit harsh on Steven. That's why I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. But who the hell asked a girl that you have never met? Even if you have met, like, you want, you want the person to visit your country and you're like, do you have a swimsuit? It does not make sense. Oh my god, this guy's a creep. Oh, you freaking creep, you're disgusting. But like, Why? I'm so just a, I'm, I, I didn't, it's just a kind gesture. And no, it's not a kind gesture, you freaking perv. Oh, you're a freak, you're a freak, you're a different kind of freak. Oh, you're disgusting. Oh. You are going to delete your social media accounts right now. You want me to do it right now? Yes, right now. You know what, Alina, you're right. This is either break up or delete this guy's account and delete and ban him from every single social media and don't let him talk to anyone because this guy is full of shit. You, this guy can't be trusted. I would recommend breaking up, but if you don't want to, I guess that's a way to prolong the in, uh, the inevitable, the inevitable, the inevitable, inevitable demise or breakup. I have yeah. photos I want to save on there first before I delete it. It's gonna take a long time to download all those photos. I feel like. So what? So like this is my graduation picture. I don't have that anywhere oh. else really. So save it now, quickly. We have to use this park Wi-Fi. It's way too hot. Oh my god, this guy, this guy. Oh, it's so annoying. This guy's not a man. This guy's some. I don't know what he is. Oh god, like. Okay, if you have pictures, just tell her. Can we go back to the room and I'll just download the pictures and then I'll delete the my social media account. Just don't go like, oh, the Wi-Fi is slow. Oh, I have a lot of pictures. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't. I don't know how. Like, stop being a little. Ah, I shouldn't curse. I hate this guy. But it keeps getting worse. This guy is now gonna tell Alina that he's not a virgin, and this is the exciting part, isn't it? It smells bad. It smells good. Just try it. Oh! Oh, Steven, you just, you just, you just, you just make everything worse. Steven. Oh, Steven. Oh my God, I hate this guy. Oh, look what he's doing. Who drinks wine like that? And why is his tongue so long? It's like a lizard or something. Why does Alina find this guy attractive? in any way. Look what he's doing. Oh, are these what more moans are like? More moans. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my God, he's licking the, the rim. Oh. oh Oh, what the hell? If you don't want to drink it, don't drink it. God, what are you, like six years old? Drinking juice and doing weird things with the juice? Oh. Watching him taste wine is a little bit awkward. It's not a little bit awkward, Alina. It's disgusting. I really don't understand why you like this guy. I really don't get it. It's like, oh, God come here with my boyfriend it's kind of romantic activity and <laughs> now oh this yeah now you're turned off this is disgusting <laughs> even she says it it's disgusting steven you're disgusting i feel like this week has been really challenging wow. and good for us because we have been having a lot of really tough conversations mm -hmm. And something else I wanted to kind of confess. This is where the confession starts. This is where Alina gets pissed as hell. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Come on, do it. Do it. You better not back out, Steven. And 100% open and candid with you about my past. Ah, uh, she knows what's going to happen. She knows. She knows. Something I want to tell you, Alina, is that I am not a virgin. 
Boom! <laughs> oh, her face says it all. She is pissed. She is pissed. Like Steven. Oh, Steven, you little asshole. Just broke a woman's heart. I have um, had sexual relations. Oh, she's so I'm pissed. I'm telling you this because I love you and I want to make sure you know everything about me before we get married. Ah, oh, she is so pissed. What would I do? I'll be so pissed. Like right away, I'm like, okay, you're a liar. <laughs> Wedding's off. Everything's done. Did you just drink that wine? Did you just slept with other girls? <gasps> oh my god. Like, you can't say anything. Yeah, you may act like a virgin, a clean person when you're just a dirty asshole. There's no coming back from this, you little dick. When we first met, Steven introduced himself like an innocent, pure, like religious guy. This is why you don't trust those kind of people. You don't trust those kind of people, guys. The people that I've met so far, I haven't met everyone in the world, but a lot of the people who are like all religious and act so kind and all that stuff, they have the shadiest shit going on behind their back. Like usually the people who just pray and have their own, they have their religion and they respect other people's right to their religions and they don't act like, oh, they're all holy and shit. They're usually good people. And if you're a religious person who acts all holy and you're better than other people and like somehow your the people you know need to follow what you believe in and those kind of people, I'm not sure if I'm explaining very well, but those assholes, they're usually assholes. Like this guy, this guy's an asshole. He lied to me all this time and this is the worst thing he could lie about yes because people who is hypocritical you can't trust them that's true you can't trust hypocrites hypocrites he's a hypocrite steven just because i have had troubles living by all the standards of the church doesn't mean that i'm not trying to improve oh my god i hate these kind of people they always have excuses for everything right you lied you lied okay and like what what does he say now? Just because I made mistakes doesn't mean I'm trying I'm not trying to improve. You're not. I don't think you are. You're being a hypocrite. Asshole. That's why I was so worried about us living in the same apartment. I feel like you are hypocritical with me. Yes. You say that if I want to convert I have to follow the commandments. You see, that's what I said. You know, those religious people who want you to convert and follow your religion. They're the fucking worst. That's why I agreed to delete my social media. I really am ready to move on and leave my bachelor life behind. How many girls did you sleep with? Oh, that's a good question. How many, Steven? I, I probably made out with... Um, over a hundred. <laughs> oh God. Over a hundred? Over a hundred. Oh. oh. Oh my God. He made out with over a hundred women. And he's acting pure? Oh, what a piece of shit. And <laughs> she's laughing because she, she's like flabbergasted. She's like, what the hell did I just hear? This guy's a man whore. Of those, maybe like two dozen. No, don't say you slept with two dozen. 24 women? Or they were kind of more intimate and maybe about five four or five where it was we slept and had sex uh, he made out with a hundred over a hundred women he got more intimate with around two dozen women and he slept with five women like, i don't know how the math works for these kind of things but it doesn't seem like he's telling the truth 
I kind of feel like he might have, I think he could have slept with more women or he's lying. I don't know what's happening. Like, I mean, this guy's full, like he's so full of shit that I, I just can't tell guys. Like, what do you guys think? I think, I don't know. I don't think he kissed a hundred women. Like that guy, that guy, come on. When was the last time when you had intimacy with other girls? The last time was about last October. Are you serious? We were in a relationship. This guy's just a big asshole. I hate this guy now. They were in a relationship and he slept with another girl. That's called cheating. And he's acting all pure and all that stuff. Like he's a changed man and he's willing to change. It was towards the beginning when we had just started talking. And that's your excuse? Huh? That's your excuse? You started dating? It's just when you started dating so you were like still okay to sleep with other women? Bullshit. And I had been explaining to you that I didn't feel ready to commit to a serious relationship yet. I was out on a date and we ended up having sex. Watching Star Wars. This guy has no guilt, no remorse. He doesn't regret anything. Okay, look at his face. Look at that schmuck face. Alina should do the right thing and just leave this crazy asshole behind. Because this guy is just gonna lie to you forever. Like, that's how it is. It's like, you know, people who gamble, like, they can't stop. Like, liars, they can't stop. They're just gonna keep lying and lying and lying. Lying is the easy way out. Like, you avoid the consequences for a second, you know, quickly. It seems like it's a good choice. But it always comes back to you. And look at him. That's what he does all the time. All he does is lie and lie and lie and lie. This guy will never make your life even a bit better. It's going to make it worse. That's how cult people are. And most likely when he's done, he's going to harvest your organs. Most likely because he is a crazy guy. Weird crazy guy. And yeah, just avoid this person, Alina. And also to you guys, if you guys are meeting anyone, a guy or a girl who's anyway like this, just break up just stay away from those kind of people because they are not the good kind of people to be with guys i'm telling you like no just stay away from them guys stay away oh god anyway i think this is the last this is the end of steven and alina's series i'm not sure if there are more that will come up in the future i'll make sure to make a video on it but for now that is it and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did you know what to do leave a like subscribe follow me on instagram follow me on twitter and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys